Hello and welcome to another teaching from 119 Ministries. Our ministry believes that the whole Bible is true and directly related to our lives today. If you would like to know more about what we believe and teach, please visit us at testeverything.net. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel by hitting the button down below. We hope that you enjoy studying and testing the following teaching. As many already know, the seventh day Sabbath is one of the Ten Commandments. Exodus chapter 20. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to Yahweh your Elohim. On it you shall not do any work, you or your son or your daughter, your male servant or your female servant, or your livestock, or the sojourner who is within your gates. For in six days Yahweh made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Therefore Yahweh blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. It should be mentioned that after Yahweh says to remember the Sabbath day, he points to creation as the origin of this commandment. So, if we're going to study the root of the Hebrew word for a Sabbath, perhaps we should start there. Genesis chapter 2, verses 2 through 3. And on the seventh day, Elohim finished his work that he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work that he had done. So Elohim blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it Elohim rested from all his work that he had done in creation. The Hebrew word for Sabbath is Shabbat. While Shabbat is a noun, the root of the word comes from the Hebrew verb Shabbat, literally meaning to cease. Yahweh was the first to example observing the seventh day Sabbath following his work in the first six days. He rested or ceased. He then made it holy or set apart. Did he set it apart for only him to observe? No, he set it apart for man to observe. Our observance of Shabbat is a sign of his covenant with us. Exodus 31. Therefore the people of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, observing the Sabbath throughout their generations, as a covenant forever. So why is the Sabbath a sign or mark of the covenant? A covenant is an agreement between two people. In Yahweh's covenant to us, as his people, he has promised us to take us into the land for a 1,000 year rest prefaced by a resurrection, all through Messiah Yeshua. Both of these things are to occur on the seventh day. By us observing the seventh day Sabbath, we are acknowledging and respecting Yahweh's promise to His people, and by acknowledging and respecting His promises, we are showing the world Yahweh's grace. As we've already mentioned, the Hebrew verb Shavat means to cease. That is its most frequent and basic meaning. We see this meaning expressed in Genesis chapter 8 verse 22 in the context of God's covenant with Noah. Genesis chapter 8 verse 22. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, shall not cease. This promise is cited as a prophetic sign that God remains faithful to the people of Israel. Jeremiah 31. Thus says Yahweh who gives the sun for light by day, and the fixed order of the moon and stars for light by night, who stirs up the sea so that its waves roar. Yahweh of hosts is his name. If this fixed order departs from him before me, declares Yahweh, then shall the offspring of Israel cease from being a nation before me forever. Just as the fixed order of seasons and days does not cease, Yahweh does not cease in His enduring love and commitment toward His people. Every Sabbath reminds us of God's faithfulness. Since the noun Shabbat is derived from the verb Shabbat, meaning to cease, Shabbat could be understood simply to mean the day that stops, implying the cessation of work or regular activity. Thus, the Hebrew root of Shabbat informs us that the Sabbath is a day to stop, to cease. As we speed down the busy highway of life, the Sabbath compels us to hit the brakes, to take the next available exit, and to pull into God's rest area. We were not created to be busy and working and moving all the time 24-7. We need a break. God knows this, which is why He gives us the one day to enjoy every week, 
the Sabbath day is a day to cease, to focus on our family and to honor Yahweh, reflecting on His great love. For more on the prophetic meaning of the Seventh-day Sabbath, we would recommend the teachings, The Creation Prophecy, Brit Hadashah, The Fourth and Seventh Day, Parts 1 and 2, and Hebrews 4, and His Rest Now or Later. For more teachings about the Sabbath, you might be interested in the timing of the Sabbath, no fire on the Sabbath, and of course, the Sabbath day. We pray that you've been blessed by this teaching, and remember, continue to test everything. Shalom. It is because of you, our generous supporters, who make it possible to offer these high-quality teachings completely free of charge. If you feel led to support 119 Ministries so that we can continue this effort, please visit testeverything.net and click on the Support 119 tab. Learn how you can partner with us to take the whole Word of God to the nations.